Yobruk Nation. I've got a little small video I want to show you some of our first harvests here. And I want you to see this. This is just a little short video. And I'll add more to this. But uh, bring that here, son. Let's see what we have. We are out here doing what we have to do. Put it up there, son, please. My young brother here. Taking care of all the plants, teaching him how to fertilize, put all that corn in there, son, please. Teaching him how to fertilize the plants, tomatoes. This is Ash, Yusipia, the pianist. This is his oldest son here, teaching him the importance of fertilizing and all organic fertilizer. Let us look at the bucket, son. Yes, sir. Show the people what kind of fertilizer you do. See, that's the for all oh, that's organic fertilizer. It costs a lot of money. So, what are you doing, my son? I'm putting them down on, around the roots of the plant. Okay. What do you do after you put it in? Cover it back up in water. Okay. Good source. We got uh, the corn, sweet corn. This is just some of the harvest this morning. This is Akiwasadak son right here. Shalom. I just brought some corn. It makes me want to eat one. Is it sweet? Have you tried some, son? No, I haven't tried some. This yet. is just the first little uh, tomato. Look at those tomatoes. Throw that, my friend. Yes, sir. All right. Corn and everything. Let me see. I want to peel back one of these beans. Let me see. Hallelujah. Eat this, but I'm going to eat it. Ah, forgive me. Look at this corn right here. Look at Oh, organic. Tomatoes, they look ugly. We grow them right. Cukes. These are the alpha males. They got what they call Japanese beans here. Let me see. Mmm. This is sweetest candy. Mmm. Mmm. Probably cherry tomato. Mmm. Got a little tartness to it. Look at that. Let me show you. Look at that corn. It's coming back with more. We have to put all that in crates, son. Get, yeah, get okay. some of those up there. And we're gonna start taking this to the dining hall. This is the fertilizer we use. The fertilize. We use this. Liquid fertilizer, huh? organic. And it must have all this on this OMR. That's the true seal that is organic. Organic material review institution. This is all organic fertilizer. Look at that. Mm. You all, uh, the next one you bring, let's go ahead and take that up. Yes, sir. All right, you and Ash. Mm. Wow. You tell me that ball. That corn, that is delicious. I'm not going to apologize, all right? I eat that. Teshu Hebrew community. I'm getting ready to start these trees here. I'm going to start about this week. 
We use all kinds, but these are quite expensive. And I'll start planting this week sometime. Uh, first, first of next week. And try to get everything out in. Uh, we're getting everything out in. Uh, we just killed the snake. I didn't realize what it was. It's nothing but a plain garden snake. If I'd have seen his head, but I tell you, the head flared out as though that it was a monster, a snake. And I hate I kill him. These are these are friends of farmer. We need these. I went right down on his head, one shot. Because he was crawling in the grass on the side. I didn't know what it was. And I'd rather not take a chance with him. I could tell when I hit him because of the belly, the orange belly. Look at the tomatoes. We haven't watered these enough. Ash, yes, you finish that, son? I want to make sure you water all these tomatoes, all right? Yes. Sir. So that, my friend. Yes. That's how we address each other. I know I'm the grandfather around here, and they love me that way, but out of my 13 years old, they're man. They're men. And that's my aim, and everything. All right, we got to run, pick. Pick up some some fish. Let's go ahead and start taking that to the kitchen. Yes. All right, go ahead, son. We're gonna take all this to the kitchen. We're gonna have corn and tomato. Look at those big, beautiful tomato. Cute, son. Nice salad. All right, son. Yes. So uh, I just wanted to do this. It was the first harvest in the sense we. Getting food to eat, but uh, it's a lot of harvesting to do around here. So I say to you all, Yabaru, this is part one of a second part. So just want to give you some insight on us here at Teshu. May the blessings of Yah rest upon you all. Yisrael, Shalom, Shalom. Yabaru Nation, first day, a little after eight. I'm going to take us outside to show us the venture a little bit today. How about that? Share with you some of the things we're doing here. Look, we got, uh, let me show you, we got an inch of rain. If we can see that, see? Wow, it's a great blessing to get that. Today, doing some things. Young son preparing to fertilize. You know it's best to fertilize early in the morning, all right? Yes, sir. The first thing in the morning. So I should have came out here earlier. Yes, sir. You okay. should have been up at 7. Yes. Yabaruk, son. Yabaruk. We're preparing this here for, for, uh, I'm going to grow, I'm just going to put in here for now some what they call short clover. And then I can also just go in between that short clover. It's nothing but a grass. I can plant uh, collards and things like that. And across the front of this property here, for now, we're gonna have we're gonna have totes like these. We're gonna grow uh, annual herbs up here in the totes. That's my enterprise after the feast. We're in the feast days right now. We celebrate our feast differently than you. And I'm going to begin a teaching on those things, the feast days, how we celebrate and the time, how do we organize the date, the sum of the harvest. There's a short clip that will be, this will be part two, a short clip of what we've harvested this morning. I know they look ugly, but these are delicious tomatoes of all type. And everything is ready to go. The garden, we're harvesting this morning. Uh, we're going to make sure, son, listen, all of them. 
Okay. Let's go ahead and let's harvest the cucumbers, all right? After let's harvest let's go ahead and fertilize and then we can harvest the cucumber. All right, Yabrukoda. Parsley and things like this, dill and peppers. And this is a hard plant to grow peppers because it must be you can't have cool nights and uh, the spring of the year we had quite a bit of cool nights. I'll come back and tie all of this up and things like that. I'll get that done. But everything is magnificent. We're eating from our gardens abundantly, fellowshipping, having a wonderful time here. Everything, the beans here, tomatoes, okra in here as well. This is, they put okra in their beans over here too. So with their beans. This is what they call Australian kale. I love it. Here and also this is these are nothing but uh, carrots. We get taxed at times, so we kind of let me see what they look like. See, they're not ready to pick, but these are little pencil carrots. We can eat these. They're sweet, and they're ready to go. And uh, tomatoes here. We have tomatoes until the frost come. I want to take us on a venture. I'm going to walk. I'm here with my cane beside me. But I'm going to walk and just take us on a venture. I want to show you a beautiful home that we have. Uh, everything is well. I would take my Cadillac. This is what I call my Cadillac. I got new tires on it now. I bought this about 10 years, close to 10 years, 10 years ago. Never done anything. Tires are still the same. I didn't know my son put me a new seat in there because the other one looked like that. But this has been my tool to travel around here. I'm going to get, find my Imarafia some birds to put in this cage. I built this cage for her. And uh, I got to find her some. We'll have a great day today. Fellowshipping, wonderful meal. Always eat wonderful here. We always. I got up early. I was up, I think. I fed them, watched them. They know that sound. I've already fed them a ton of food. You don't want to overfeed them. You see how clean the rocks and the gravel? Because that's what they need to do, eat that. The allergy. We're going to take a little walk. Corn is beautiful. They're harvesting the corn today. Let me just walk through that way. See the corn? They're harvesting that. We do everything around here we need to do. Corn here, corn there. And everything. Yeah, the Akim, the Akim, but I mean, like you're safe out here picking uh, corn. Yabaruk, Akim, Yabaruk, Yabaruk. Yabaruk, You're safe as Akim, but I mean, the corn, see how tall that corn is? All right. Let's take a little journey this morning in Teshua. Are you sure love? Keep everything pretty. I love that. Jerdy and Teshua. It's amazing that you Hebrew Israelites don't know how to live. We got work to do here. And those that would tell me about lions are pagan. Get in the house a bit of you all here, lions and everything. That is one thing I need to do this. There was carpet there. But I got the paint next week, Yas will. It is his will, we're gonna do this. This was a part of the school, and the school. Beautiful flowers here. I love this place, when I say I love it, I, I certainly enjoy my life here, my lifestyle. I love it. 
I've been here 27, 28 years coming up soon. Won't be long next year, early next year, in the sect for a year. This is how I live. Sheep, cows, look at that. Oh, beautiful grass, chickens up there in the field. Let me zoom in and see if I can get those chickens for you. Uh, they may not be quite visible, but they're there. Fencing. The bees are fine. They're doing well. Pollinate the veggies and things for us. Electric wire around it. But this is a beautiful place, my friends. Teshua, this is Yahweh's congregation. That sound has been there a long time. I'm going to have to redo it. The tabernacle has been there and it's still beautiful inside. We're going to fresh the front up some. It's been there for what? 25 years. Barbershop there. Ah, look at this grass. We need to build this. Beautiful place. Beautiful community. We're in the process of refining things or redoing things. This is one building here, the fellowship. This where they fellowship. We got different fellowship places. But this is where during feast days the men are here and and uh, the daughters of Zion was in the house for the daughters. Beautiful place. The videos whereby you can see how beautiful it is. This line, you see these apple trees and all of this? This whole line, this used to be an orchard, fruit trees of all kinds. We had nectarine, pears, peaches, you name it, those big old pecan trees. It was here. And as I said, that field where the sheep are, we had trees. Ah, the martins are in too. We welcome them every year. And we know when they leave, get ready for the winter is coming. These are martin houses. Let me check it in here. Nakim has been painting this. I want to see what it looks like. This is not beautiful, there is nothing beautiful. Oh my, this is beautiful. Look how that with the ceiling. Isn't that beautiful? Let me get a wider view. Okay. That is so beautiful there. We're gonna clean this whole place out. Colors. Clean it out. Give you a view from here. We're gonna put different colored towels in here. I've already designed the floor. This is spectacularly beautiful. We paint our wood stove up. That's how we heat around here. But the panels are beautiful. The lighting is precious. And everything is just wonderful. One more wall to paint, and then they have done, uh, they are doing an exceptionally wonderful job. We can do all things that we pool our resources. This world has taught us to be greedy and selfish. And your love doesn't mean anything because it's truly not the love of Yah. We love everybody, but we love nobody. Uh, taking a stroll through Teshua this morning. Got to do some work up here on that building. To all Achim, the deceased, Ak, Zachain Dawid, and Bishop Bates. We built that room up on top. We laid it out. 
We built this, the gym. We got a beautiful gym. Fruit trees. This is another greenhouse she has, if you've seen in the past, some of them. And I'm going to, we got to get this all cleaned up. I usually have hundreds of trees out here on these tables and put things, we're going to clean all this up. This rain has really caused the grass to grow. And uh, we're going to get in here. And I'm going to grow at least... Uh, you see all these buckets? Trees. I will grow at least... At least... Uh, maybe... 50 tomato plants and... Uh, everything. On this side I can put... On that side I can put all kinds of things in that, on that bed. We're gonna put at least 50 plants and everything. Yeah, you gotta have this heated during the winter. We built this off the dime, cheap. I try to do everything cheap. So about 25 cucumber plants. Tomato plants, we start them at intervals. We have tomatoes and cucumbers and everything. It's a nice greenhouse, just from basically dry stuff, old blocks that taken and cleaned up. This is right here. This is where we raise worms. These are earthworms. These are earthworms. And they put everything in there. These are raised beds. It's gonna be strawberries next year. We get them all cleaned up. Josepia. He's the one working on that building over there. All these are raised beds. Beautiful pond there, isn't it? And also, this is a greenhouse here. It's a solar greenhouse. I built this. I got this design. I built this thing probably uh, 15 years ago. Yeah, at least. And this is where I would start all my seeds and everything for the community. But I walk from my house back and forward that building look greenhouse over there we took an old building that we had and turned it into a greenhouse you know this it looks junk in here but it works it works believe me it works it produces. and what that does when you start plants in this in the uh this this is always facing the sun you, uh, you don't want the sun on the bed. The sun, our salty saltus during the summer is straight across. The winter is over this line here. So it draws all of the sun. Isn't this beautiful? Ah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It is. So much God has granted to us. There be the chickens, as oh my grandmother would say. They need to drop another load in here. We'll see them later. This is the lake, the house on the lake here. We're doing some repairs on it. And everything. It's a very quiet place. You hear everything? The birds are tweaking. Come on, that old beautiful southern daughter of Zion, you and your husband, all of you young as ponds the fish everywhere. There's one. You get a chance to see the whole community. I'm just showing I'm just showing you some things today. And mama, let me say this to you, daddy. You here. I want you here. 
We want Yisrael among us because we are. And we do righteous by all men. As much as we have opportunity, we do right by all men. I don't care if he's a white boy or whomever. Black one either. And this is another pun. See that? I want me some carbs in here. This pond here. I want me some carbs in this pond. You can eat carb. But I want to raise carp there. But everything you want to get is sterilized. Any of you that are carp fishers out there, within the proximity of Jefferson, I like to have two big males and three females of five. This is a lovely home here. And I did basically the majority, not basically, I did all the work in the inside. Right here on the pond. We would take all these trees down. I don't want, they've been here all these years. This house has been here 24 years, 23 years minimum. Nice little deck, needs cleaning up. No one is in it. We're putting a new roof on it. All of this, the gusset. And all these things, they're going to be fixed up. I haven't been in this one in a while now. So I don't know what it's going to look like. Oh, nice deck. Still seems solid. Just need cleaning up, dusting up. This is a nice house. How nice is a lovely home. Oh, wow. I haven't been in here in so long. Look at this. Let me turn some lights on, see if I can. All right. Look at this. Lovely home. Mm. Everything wood burning. Lovely deck on the bank. Okay. Okay, my bank. This building is what makes the hot water and everything. We'll have to fix all this up. Right here, our property line. Lovely house, it's just me fixing up. This is called the Hilton on the Pond. <laughs> Number five, Hilton on the Pond. Maya Show, she gives all of it a name. She does. Every house has a name. Everyone. Every house. Hasn't been lived in, in a long time. Nice furniture, still nice. All this furniture you see, you will see in here. I purchased all of this from from Habitat Resale. There's something up there in the ceiling. We'll get it out. But it doesn't look oh, okay. I can see here. We're fixing this roof. Let me look in here. It's a beautiful bedroom. Beautiful. Beautiful bedroom. Nice little kitchenette. We all eat in the dining hall where people tend to have their own little things they like to nibble on. Shower. Nice place. Oh. Nice place. All these lights will come out. Nice shower. 
tub and all of that. Nice bathroom. Big enough for three or four in a family. We had one with seven in, in our house when I was growing up. Ah, uh, let me see. Seven. Nice master bedroom right here. Husband and wife. Got your nice little sitting area. Put your plant your flowers. It's gonna take a little work. We got we got the material coming in for the ceiling. It's quite expensive to buy things like that. But these couches, all of this come from Habitat or resale. Uh, ceiling here. We'll get it done. The weather's coming. And what a beautiful little place. Bed. Yes, a little work. And if you carpenters, Achim, out there, they want to come and help me for a few days or a week. Plenty of food. Now, not coming to just bull jive. We're coming to work. Bedroom here. Look at this. Is this not a nice bedroom? Your son, two sons, put bunk beds there. I did all this in this house. All of this. So Zakin helped me paint, but as far as the house, I did it all. Zakin, Lou Zakin laid the tile. It's a beautiful house, beautiful home. Beautiful, for a family of six, even seven. That's what it is. It is not that we don't want Yisra ill among us, but we're not having no buffoonery and no folly, none of that. You're not coming here with your dictions. What you you're not coming here changing the order of anything. When you, If you do this, what we've done, you want to visit and come and show us and teach us new things, we welcome that. But you have not done this. What I'm saying, you have not subject yourself. You operate in the will of your own heart. It's not the will of your heart. I'm not afraid to tell you that. Nice deck. Set the chairs out. All these trees. Get to see the animal. The big rams down there. They're going to make some beautiful babies. They do. And this is the back. Beautiful big oak. That tree is probably. Mmm. And that tree is probably 120 years old. See the community? This is what I'm talking about, the boiler house. This is what makes the hot water. Fencing. In the back. Uh, okay. Tree limb on the fence line. We're going to have to get that off. This is Teshua Hebrew community. Sun is rising here. First part of the morning. What time? It's 8 and 40 here. Take you to one more spot and we're going to call it, call it a day, all right? I'm slothful out of my language. Just giving you a glimpse. Beautiful community. Just a glimpse. little low claps. That's all we're doing.
We'll clean up some of these trees. Come out here and sit. Definitely all three of these coming down. All of those. Will they have stood the test? Just those trees have been here since we've been here. All of them. We never had a tree to fall on a house, anything like that. Never. We're going to go down the line and we're going to give us a little more mm, inside of us here, Teshua. We, got, we have to make our chickens whereby they are protected. I used to be a an owl or a hawk that would sit in one of these trees and it never took one chicken. It will wait till we feed them throughout, you know, the, the things from the dining hall. And that hawk will come down and eat with him. It was a hawk or an eagle. And it would just come and eat with him. I don't believe in just killing animals for no reason. I'll prevent the fox from getting in here. We have. Or the coon. Look at these beautiful big... Yep. 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 Look at these beautiful cows. We have a lovely piece of property here. You all that want to send us a gift, an offering of Send us an offering of help. Thousand, five, ten thousand, just send it. Yeah, I'll grant you to visit, you will see where it all goes here. Always remind people that my Isha, she makes my clothing. She does. All the all all the little jackets, she would make the pants and all. But I got so many clothing, I don't need her to make me anything. Over the many, over the 20 plus, 25 years, I'm wearing things that I, I wore 20 years ago. I know it's difficult for you to believe that, but I am. Cheap material, too. You hear the birds? Ah. Ah, we got to get things. These are trucks and things. We got to worry about nothing's getting in on our chickens. We have not lost one chicken or anything to predators. We got it all taken care of. Yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. These are what they call the ice. First time raising them, we've only had these about a year. We've gone through everything. Buff, Orphiton, Orstulup, every kind. Yep. Yep. That little old chicken house right there, I basically built that myself. So they got range here, and then we the ones up here on the hill, they range the whole from this shop to our entrance to the driveway out there. There's about seven acres plus. It's more than seven acres. You have to have this kind of stuff living like this. Forklift and everything. Back hole. I went to Tennessee to purchase that back hole. We paid twelve thousand dollars for twenty twenty four, twenty three years ago. Shop is a mess in here. 
vehicles, trucks, and it's dirty. A lot of clean shops. They can work on anything. But they work hard, so they can work on anything. There's nothing Zakhin ya Ramiyadis Akhin cannot do. Nothing. There's nothing they can't do. We'll get it all cleaned up. See this big stove right here? We built this as an oil stove to oil, but it keeps the shop warm. We throw nothing away, I'm just being honest with you. We throw nothing away. Chipper, chip, mulch stuff with that. Grass seed. We throw nothing away, my friend. Nothing. There's stuff been here since this building was built. Those old lights, we don't even use anything like that, but they're still in there. We got to clean it out. Every kind of saw. And we like to make the work easy for each other. Got to get this taken care of, the shower and all of that. And we built this so that I can take him a shower before he goes home. Be fresh and clean for wifey. Ah, uh, yes. Lights, these, we don't use these. Everything is LED. Gotta save money. Yes, indeed. We had that old skid loader, I don't know how many years, at least uh, 20 years. Practice of all kind. I, one year I purchased everything to blacktop our roads to make them pave. I purchased this this paver and we've never had time to get it right to use it we just didn't have the money to purchase the material to pave our roads oh shop there with everything we need everything we need we can find it here I don't care what you need I throw nothing away what others call junk these are treasures here nothing nothing Telling you all about my grill. Here's another one here. I purchased this, and I guarantee you right now I still can get what I put in it. I stayed on the man for this, a water pump. You can pump water that will flow through this whole community. It's for the gardens and everything. Little tractor Zakin built. We didn't have money. So you see nothing is thrown away. See this nice grill right here? Let me show you. There's a grill right here. Big shop. I'm going to show you one more thing and I'll take you down. Hallelujah. Over there we had, uh, you still can go in there, but the cows eat everything out of there. We had, uh, let me see, blueberries, blackberries. See those big tanks that, right there? We would get a whole load of diesel. We would buy it like that because it was cheaper. We could fill that big tank up back in the days for two grand. Gas, we kept gas, we still do. We keep diesel around here in gas. All in here are just blueberries. See how it's overgrown? We just don't have the manpower to get all that done like we used to. Everything was sharp. 
I want to check the scuffing hogs to die. I haven't been over in a while. I come over here very rarely, unless I'm working. Well, it's on tardy. Oh, I tell you what, you try this and tell me what it looks like. When you got uh, 50 things to do at a time. But it's still a beautiful place. Let me show you the. I did all this fencing. I fenced all of that. We got to fix it up. I did all this by myself. Ah, uh, we got to get the. What is this? Hmm. I got hunters, I'm gonna call one right now. Yo sip y'all, you read me, yo sip. Am I coming through anyone? Am I coming through? Yes, sir. Loud and clear, loud and clear. Well yeah, you you uh, going to Come here, come here. What are these? This is Shimmy right here. He can tell me exactly what these are. What tracks are those? Cat. Is, huh? Is that a cat? They don't look like a no, cat. No, let's see the... A raccoon or... A raccoon or fox. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably a fox or a raccoon. Fox. Yeah, I think it's fox. Yes, sir. All right. But you haven't seen no stray dogs in a while. No. Yes, sir. Uh, I, didn't really, I just walked up here doing a little video. Yes, sir. A few minutes. All right. That's how Akshimi right there. Shalom, You've heard shalom. him. Someone complimented on this preaching the other day. He taught us during this feast day. All right. This is us. Yabaruk, my friend. Shalom, sir. Shalom. Man, we got to get this grass cut over here. These are scuffanarks and scuffadines. That's where we butcher shop. Shimmy did it for me. I was looking at these tracks over here. He said, it looks like a fox track right here in front of uh, fox or raccoon. <laughs> over here by the uh, butcher shop up the road, right in the center. <laughs> okay, son. Yabaruk. And this, let me show you, and I'm going to go back home. I built that barn. Fella was here with us at that time. Just he and I, really. Old tin, you see that old tin roof? We're going to trim all these trees up. That barn was the first building and sense of a building we built that. That's where we keep our diesel. See that huge greenhouse right there? I'll reach out to you all, anyone that, that greenhouse of that size would cost you today $20,000. And we would grow, we raise tilapia and all that over here in the tanks, fertilize the garden with it and all that. We had a lot of people here then where we could do things like that and people had responsibility. But we can't do it now. But I worked someone a deal on that greenhouse. You give me a call. You call us. 704-617-4. That's not the number. I can't even think of the number. It's 843-658-7000. That's the community number. But these are muscadines. Uh, we put these together. My, when I first came here, I went an old country white boy. He sold me all of these. He's a nice old man. I liked him. He's very kind. And these here, the white ones, ah, uh, we got to check these out. They don't start producing until about October. 
And that's when they were the, I came over here and did all this to strengthen them up. And you gotta mow the grass over there. That's the first thing you gotta do. All right. This is the ugly side. We'll see that later on. But this is our lifestyle. I love it. It's beautiful. I love my lifestyle. Reinforcing that you must not. I do, my friends. I do. Usually the first day of the week, most of the people, they're gone. Unless it's the old ones, some of the old ones. And I'm here. That many times I've been here by myself. You're not afraid? Someone put a post. That you know how crazy people are. I tell you what, we can meet those people on the same level of craziness they think they can bring here. We can meet them there. Believe me. You saw that uh, I just talked to? Expert, huh? We got enough. I'll leave it at that. You're not coming in on us and think you can reduce us. No one. No one. So we're not afraid of that. We'll see you before you see us. How about that? Well, I'll come in on that this side. You'll, we will see you before you see us. This side is almost impenetrable. You wouldn't even know how to get up to us. There's only one way you would know. It's coming down our driveway. And you're not going to do that. So we're not afraid of that kind. Nah. No one is going to intimidate us. No one. Just give you the scenery. And a machine right there is a lift. Paid a thousand dollars for it. But it's propane. So we're going to change it during the winter over into a uh, gas engine. We do things right and righteously. We do righteous by each other. No one goes lacking here. Nobody. There's nothing that no one needs here. We don't go lacking here. I tell you, it has gotten hot. I'm profusely perspiring. It's hot. But it's supposed to get cooler in the, in the middle of this month. I'm used to 100 degree days for the whole month of July and August too. I'm used to that kind of temperature. Beautiful pastures. Beautiful places to walk. The daughters usually come out here on the black top and walk that. We gotta get this place tidy up. We're gonna mow grass and mow grass. Because we had to. You can you imagine that little pecan tree was a switch? Look at it, both of them. We had a tank up here on this tower. Tank like that, that would feed them with water. That was water on this side here. All the water we want. Beautiful plant, beautiful community. Everything is beautiful. Everything. Hallelujah. Sit in here. I used to come. This is where I would plant. Because it's cool right here. This is where I would set up and do all my seeds right here. Always cool. Nice and cool right here. In between the limbs of these beautiful pecan trees. I will come right here. Right here. Do all my seeds. And I would get up early in the morning. I would do seeds until maybe I could do five, six thousand seeds by myself in a day. And doing it perfect, two per cell. Ah, there they go. Look at them. 
Sun will probably let me find a better position. Beautiful place it is, my friends. No, you can't come here with two wives or three wives, concubines. Not married. You know, many of these men call themselves Hebrew Israelites leaders. They have more than one wife. They call them wives. They have concubines. Just flat out horse. That's all they are. A woman play herself in that position. I'm going to do a teaching on that again. Because from the beginning, Yah never intended for man to put away his wife. It was because of our wicked hearts. The hearts of man. Wicked. But from the beginning, it was not that way. One wife, one man. One wife, one man. She died, get another one. But they, they are dirty bastards out there. I debated one. I debated one. And someone recently sent me a, a link. I don't know why. And I clicked it on. And there he was with one of his new wives. Wow. Look okay, at what he says. His old wife, how she feels she's older. Oh, he had the one that was fair-skinned. His wife, first wife, is of the dark-skinned nature. There is no way, look at the Martins, on our radio line, there is no way. Do you all hear me? And I say this, nation. I don't say this boastfully, but I say it as a man. I could have had all kinds of women, every color, believe me, still today. I'm an old man, gray beard, but believe me, trust me when I say it. I want you to hear this. I could have them by the time. Finely shaped, fat, skinny, black, white, brown, yellow, I could. And these men can't talk like me. I've known no woman, no daughter, but Ima Rafia. There is nothing of her wisdom of intimacy, I mean real love, that she does not grant me. I'm talking about nothing that is foolish and wild out of the ram of the scope of sexuality. I can't express it. I can't explain it. The only way that is in moanings and groanings that we share together. It is very beautiful. And to have some other woman in another bedroom and saying this is my wife and she's hearing what she and I experience. You get older, you can't do what you used to do. As a fact, there is no way as sure as there is a hell. I will put her through that suppression, oppression. It is suppression. That is the pure factor of oppression. When I put her through that, I will not cause her to go through those kinds of pains and that kind of agony. I will not. You cannot take care of no three, four, five wives and concubines. You're flat out lying. I take no Viagra. I take vitamins. I do. I take vitamin D. And at my age, I'm not missing a beat. And she certainly is not. She's not missing anything. And there is no way, as there is a hell, that I will reduce my beautiful, my help meet, my Ezra. She is a help meet. She is what Yah calls himself, Ezra. He's a very special help. And that's what a wife is. She produces and exact the strength of a man. She represents his strength, 
his authority, his power, his might. That's what a wife. When he gave Adam, he gave him a wife. No reason Moshe had to change things and Yop granted him was because we were wicked and hard-hearted. Because of the hardness of your hearts, Yah suffered that thing to be so. That's the only reason, not because uh, you were sweet people. You were not. You were not. I know no one, no daughter but her. And I say this to you. If she leaves before I do, I'm not going to be an old 70, close to 80 year old man trying to look for a wife. I don't want a wife. I could never love one like I've loved her. I could never. I would not even cheat a daughter like that. I would not want a wife. I do not. And I would not marry. And I could get married today if I left her. Believe me, I could. You know that. I would never have another woman, a daughter. Oh, you're cheating yourself. I'm not cheating myself. Not at all. There is no other form of expression in life or a marriage that I could even share with any other one besides Imrafir. I love that daughter. I love her. The only one I ever loved. That's real love. Not this fake mess you got three or four wives. They're not wives. And men leave those women, they die. What happens to them? They all going to get his social security bullshit. I will not even do a daughter like that. Well, she just married one of the other brothers. No, nah, I'm not married no other woman. You know, if the brother, one of his, one, he died and and wife left and I, my wife was gone. I would not marry. I would be just like I am today. Y'all, what are y'all doing? Y'all dressed? We're celebrating our 10th. Hey, that pretty girl. These are my babies here. They're in their tent, the sukha. Hey, everybody. Y'all just getting up? But you're just getting up, you lazy things. No, sir, we've been up. You've been up playing. Um, around 8 okay, you're all going to start picking those apples off those trees, all right? Yes, sir. I mean, that. this my sippy, sippy, sippy. That's Zakinya Ramiya's daughter. Oh, here is my Vida, sweet Vida pie. Oh, look at this little pretty thing here. Huh? Be careful with her. She, I walk over there. She's barefooted. Oh, that's all right. I just say shalom, shalom. Say shalom to the camera. Say shalom, shalom. And here's my little look at that. Hey, pretty girl. Beautiful daughters of Tizayon. She's getting close. Where she's gonna need a husband one day. You young men out there, beautiful daughter. Ah, oh, stop that. You're pretty. Beautiful daughter of Tizayon, you're clean and righteous. So mamas, here's a beautiful daughter for your son. And his daddy, her daddy will marry her. He has the authority and the right by the command of Yah. So we have one here, we have three more in there, all right? We'll see you all. Yabrook, look at the babies. Y'all swinging, y'all have a tough time last night? Y'all have a tough time? All right, Papa, see you all. This is Teshua Hebrew community. That's my little sukkah. I don't sleep in the tents no more. I built that. It just took every bit of strap wood I could find and just build the ornaments on the side, the menorah and all of that. I built that. I'm going to circle around, and this is going to be the close of this. It's about an hour long. That's all right. What, 15 minutes at a time? I hear our radio station. The children, they got 
our pool, the liner is gone, but I ordered all that so they're going to be able to swim for the rest of July, starting next week, we're gonna get it fixed up. And uh, that's what we're going to do. This is the school here now. We had probably 40 children, 50 children in our school over there. This is where everything is done. They have their own computers, lab and everything. And everything we need in here. All right, son, take those tomatoes in. Take those tomatoes in. I just wanted to get a picture of them. Tomatoes, they look ugly, but they are some. Ah, oh, that pineapple and all of those, my. You like tomatoes, son? Huh? Yes, sir. Do you eat these? Do I eat this? Yes, sir. I know you do. All right, take them to Ima. Yes, sir. To the, my friend. Yabaruk, yes. Yabaruk. That's how we respond to each other all the time. We always salutation and to God, thank you for your kindness. Yes, we always do that. That is just, there's a habitual form here with us. I don't care who it is, he's a young man. He's 13, he's a man. He's young, he's got a lot of learning. And uh, we regard them that way. Do. He is expected to understand the responsibilities of a man. Yes, he does. I'm getting ready to start all of my seeds. Greenhouse is a mess, it's too hot. But I got everything out here where the shade will cover me. Get out here three hours in the mornings. Already got my soil prepared. Put some perlite in that. Look at that. Yeah. Both of these toads, so I can do about 3,000 seeds. I need water, I can draw from here. This is Teshu, I'm Riyadh Weed. And from this entire fellowship, we say to you, our friends, be encouraged. Press on in the battle that Yah has designed us for. And I say to you all, have a great Yam, Ya Baruch, and Yorkshire, Hamashia, Ya Baruch. Yahweh, we magnify. Magnify Yahweh, exalt you. Magnify Yahweh, I have a you. Magnify